Today we are going to visit Gardens by the Bay's latest attraction, Floral Fantasy, and we're going to talk about poison dart frogs. Rip it! me. Hey, wait! You see his clothes, ah? Why is everything closed nowadays? Oh, you guys are here. Hey, thanks for the help. What Be help? Sure. Oh, oh, come, come, okay. okay. Cool. So, I've been roped into another job again. Ray should really pay me for pulling this all the time. But anyway, I'm not going to waste this opportunity and so today, I'll be sharing with you guys all about poison dart frogs. Floral Fantasy will be open to the public soon. So, we will clean up this tank and you will be helping me. Me? Yes. Oh, oh. Poison dart frogs refer to a special group of frogs that are found in tropical Central and South America. They are known as poison dart frogs because they actually secrete toxins through their skin. And the tribes people living in the area, right, they will actually use these toxins to poison the tips of arrows and blow darts. I legit hope I don't die today. I think the closest I ever got to death was like being bitten by a random snake. Don't worry, these poison dart frogs are not poisonous because they themselves do not produce their own toxin. In the wild, certain insects such as fire ants produce alkaloid toxins to ward off predators and poison dart frogs have the ability to isolate these toxins that they ingested from affecting their bodies and instead use it to their advantage by secreting it out through their skins. And in the garden, we actually feed them with non-toxic males. Oh, okay. Come this way, we're going to feed them now. Okay. Wow, this place a, a bit too nice for like fruit flies. Huh? This part of Flora Fantasy, I just want to showcase this area. Right, I think we should do some OTDs. Thought that we open right, the fact we're like Zhoo! Okay, so over here we feed them with flightless fruit flies. It means they can fly, right? Yep. Okay. These fruit flies have been genetically modified to be flightless so that it's easier to handle them and feed them to the frog. Come on, little froggy, your meal is here. Breakfast. So the frog's tongues are long and coated with a sticky substance. So when they spot a delicious looking prey, they will shoot out the tongue and then stick it back into the mouth. And some frogs can actually do that five times faster than the blink of a human eye. The frog's tongues have two powerful group of muscle. So the first is the extender, in which the frog fires the tongue towards its prey at high speeds. And the second is the retractor, where it yanks on the tongue and then it zooms backwards like a bungee cord to bring the prey back in. Other than the fact that the frog's tongue is actually 10 times softer than a human tongue, its saliva is pretty interesting because it can change its thickness accordingly. So when it shoots out the tongue to capture its prey, it's actually thick and sticky. But once the prey is back inside the mouth, right, it turns into like a thin and watery consistency to help with the digestion. Oh my god, there's a yellow frog there! <gasps> it's so fun, it's like a mini treasure hunt to find all the colours of the frog. Yeah, sure it's fun. But it's also come with some great responsibility. That's true. So we shall continue doing our responsibility now. Poison dart frogs in their natural habitat like to live high up in the trees where small pools of water form inside these bromelid plants. So this is important especially during certain conditions where water is scarce. On the other hand, even though the frogs require a moist environment to survive, they actually cannot stay inside water for too long or else they will drown. So this is also the reason why this vivarium does not have any pools of water. So MJ, this is how bromelid's plant look like from the top. And this is where it collects rainwater during monsoon season. So in the wild, right, dark frogs lay their egg on moist leaf littles. And when they hatch, the parents will actually carry the tepal up the tree and put them into the bromelets. Poison dart frogs, just like any other frogs, they're what we call a three-stage life cycle. They start off as cute little tadpoles that live in the water and they swim and breathe through their gills. Then, they slowly metamorph into an adult frog by gradually forming lungs, sprouting their limbs and losing their tails. So that they can live on land and breathe on land. So adult frogs, they can still live in water and breathe underwater through their skin, but they cannot stay in there for too long because their lungs will fill up with water and they will drown. Oh my god, I spot a blue one! Oh, there, 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 there. Oh, there's the, the green and the black one, the green and the black one. Oh, there's the yellow one also, the yellow one. The fully yellow one. So, so how was her performance today? Of course it's good lah. Are you happy with yes. that? Yes, it's very good. <laughs> Goodbye my little froggies. Thank you for a wonderful time. Thank 
Thank you, Ji Hong. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was really fun. We would like to thank Guns by the Bay for having us on board and letting us get so close to them cute little amphibies. So Floral Fantasy will be open to the public really soon. So if you guys would like to get to know when you can look at these cute little froggies, you may check out our comment section below and let us know how excited you are as well. That's all for today. Just keep thinking.